Hello everybody, this is Adam Kokesh, and today I have a bit of an unusual message that is directed to a very specific audience, namely all of the Republican and Democratic political operatives out there. And to sum it up, the basic message is, shame on you. I know, shocking, right? Now, before I get to explaining that, I need to share a little bit about my personal background that most people aren't very aware of. Uh, when I got out of the Marine Corps in November 30, 2006, you never forget the day, I moved to Washington, D.C. to get a master's degree in political management at George Washington University. I dropped out uh, about a semester short, three credits short of uh, the degree. Uh, proof, it's never too late to drop out. Don't let your schooling get in the way of your education, as Mark Twain said. And I went to that program originally because I was just enthralled with politics. I wanted, I wanted to be a part of it. I wanted, I wanted to be, uh, you know, I wanted to be operating the levers of power. I, I wanted to be a player in Washington. I, I wanted to, to understand the game and, and, and to be able to manipulate it. And the reason I dropped out uh, I wish I could say I was more conscientious around just dropping out for its own sake, but no, I dropped out because I fell in with Iraq Veterans Against the War. And it was while I was in D.C. that I came across the website and was just like, well, gee, Iraq Veterans Against the War, I guess, I guess that's me. Gotta have my name on the list. And so I wish I could say that uh, I, I, I had this all planned out, that it was, it was a well thought out a career move, if you will, that I was going to, you know, take advantage of the opportunity to be a, a veteran and who had a relevant story to change the world, to, to help win the debate on the war in Iraq uh, for the American people. And something happened to me in, in, in the course of that. I think I could sum it up best as saying that I became an activist. And to me, an activist is someone who's motivated by a deep-seated sense of injustice, not power or fame or money or influence or respect or any of that bullshit. No, but when we see an injustice in the world, we want to do something about it. We want to stop it. And I see so many of my former classmates doing simply what was expected of them out of the program, I suppose, to go and be those operatives on Capitol Hill. And yeah, I think there's something distinctly shameful about that life that I walked away from. Because if you are right up close to those levers of power, if you are an operative in Washington, D.C., you spend all that time learning to manipulate the levers, but almost no time whatsoever to see how or if they can be applied to better serve humanity. And anybody who takes an honest look at politics and government eventually becomes a libertarian because you realize that it's all unethical. And you, you guys, of all people, you know this. Government is premised on violating individual rights because taxation is theft. Coercion is unethical. Everything government does is backed up, even the good stuff, by the barrel of a gun. And wh what do you do? You go, well, oh, red team, blue team. It's all the same team. You know that. You go have drinks together at the bars in DC afterwards anyway. No, you know that it's bullshit. They're all on the same team called government. That's the side that is playing against the team known as freedom. Left wing, right wing, doesn't matter. Same shit bird. And if you have any shame, if you have any conscience, you will hear these words and let them sink into your soul. Oh, wait a second. I'm talking to political operatives. I have to be politically correct. Some of you might not have souls, but at least to the very core of your being, perhaps, you can find some shame or some conscience. 
Because you know that what you're doing by serving Republicans and Democrats is inflating the egos of the sociopaths and their criminal, fraudulent manipulation of America. And for what? For the thrill of the game? For the fun of it all? For the, the, the petty ego trip that you get out of it? As the saying so often misattributed goes, the hottest layers of hell are reserved for those who in times of great moral crises maintain their neutrality. Now, there's no hell. I'm not trying to scare you with that. And I, I would be hard pressed to, to make the case that this is a time of, of moral crisis. No, but this is a time of evolution. Progress is happening as humanity gets less violent over time, as we have gotten more ethical over time, as the course of human history shows that we have embraced ethics. And today we simply make this, this crazy little exception. Okay, it's a pretty big exception. For government! Don't hit, don't steal, don't kill, unless you're a cop or a soldier or an IRS agent. No, this is madness. Somehow, society, maybe it's not really society, maybe it's just the illusion created by you and the mainstream media that makes us think society consents to this ethical exemption of for government. But no, it's not real. And it's not healthy that, that governments get to do these horribly unethical, evil things that are holding back humanity that obviously you as an individual would not be able to do. Can you not see the problem with this? Ethics exist for a reason. Principles are there to show us the pragmatic way forward. We are at this point in human history where we are ready to abandon the barbaric ways of the past and embrace the enlightened ways of the future, the ways of ethics, morality, respect for self-ownership, the non-aggression principle, freedom. So to all of you who toil in this game of left-right politics, I have an invitation for you and a challenge, of course. Yes, I challenge you to find your conscience, to get away from this blue team, red team, left wing, right wing, bullshit shell game that is nothing more than creating the cover, the excuses for the evils of government. Join us on Team Freedom. Join the Libertarian Party. When you do, you will be asked to take a pledge that says, I oppose the initiation of force to achieve political and social goals. That is to say, I adhere to a basic standard of ethics and want to apply it consistently and not make exceptions for government. Now, if you haven't heard, I am running for president in 2020 on the platform of the peaceful, orderly, responsible disillusion of the entire United States federal government. It would be a good first step, right? We get rid of the federal government, then the state governments, then the county governments, and then the only government left will be self-government. If we have any institutions at that point known as government, they will have to be voluntary and ethical in order to be allowed to continue to exist. To have the support of the people who are a part of those systems. And right now, there's not a lot of money in this. I'm sorry to say. If you're in it for the money, stay with the Republicans and Democrats. May history remember you as those who fought on the wrong side of the war for freedom. But if you care about justice, then join us. Your skills, your talents, your passion, are needed here on Team Freedom. Thank you.
Thank you to YouTube for hosting this video and for being an essential part of human progress by making video hosting available worldwide to everyone on the internet. However, the next phase in human progress is here with Steemit.com and their video hosting alternative blockchain-based solutions, including DTube. And you can find that through Steemit.com as well as my own page there, at Adam Kokesh. This is a decentralized blockchain-based social media network that pays you fairly for your content. Already, I'm regularly making more there with a single post than I do from an entire month on YouTube. So please join us on the next frontier of the information revolution at steamit.com. And if you want help getting a leg up there, I'm happy to re-steam your posts and make sure that no one is starting from scratch. Just email me one of your favorite posts at adam at and we'll share it on my feed.